So what exactly is 5G? Not to be confused with 5 gigahertz, which is what wireless home routers can do. 5G is the cellular version, the upgrade from 4G or 4G LTE. And all the G really means at the end of that number is generation. So when we were in the first generation, it was 1G. When we were in the second generation, it was 2G, 3G. Last generation was 4G. 4G LTE, and now the fifth generation of the mobile network is called 5G. Simple, right? And all it is really is a bunch of rules and radio frequencies used to exchange data, all science-y and technology stuff. When it comes down to it, it's really just the connection speed from your device to the internet. So your mobile device, your mobile cell phone to the internet. That's really what it is in a nutshell. So then the question becomes, what is the big deal? How fast is it going to be? Well, Qualcomm recently just did a test and who Qualcomm is, is they're usually the chip maker for some of like the biggest cell phone makers in the game. Like they make chips for Samsung and these are the chips that drive the Samsung phones and kind of drives how fast and how fluent these phones move. So they really just recently did a test on their 5G. On the lower end of 5G, they were getting speeds that were at least 20 times faster than our current 4G network. So they're medium Medium speeds are about 1.4 gigahertz when they were doing the testing. Again, that's about 20% faster than our current speeds at 4G. Now on the top end, they were saying that 5G can even top out at 4.5 gigahertz, which would just be absolutely ludicrously fast when you're dealing with a mobile device. And you can see where that speed would come in handy for everything that we really do today. Everything that we do today now predicates on having a faster internet connection. We've gone from storing things in our phone that we watch to streaming things that we watch. So you stream YouTube videos, a la this video here. You stream Netflix, you stream Hulu. There's so many different streaming platforms and streaming services. Games now need a internet connection in order to talk to the cloud to get saved information and data. Games are getting larger on the mobile devices and the mobile device platform is now growing in the way of entertainment. So a faster internet connection really does play an important role in how we progress through the future. Now, a faster connection isn't the only benefit that 5G offers. It offers an improvement in something called latency. The latency is just really defined on the action that you've taken by touching the screen to it correlating to an action happening on screen. And 5G can really shrink the latency that's currently available in the mobile platform. So currently, if you make an action on screen, you either press the screen or you initiate a web search. Right now, the latency can be from anywhere from 50 to a couple of hundred milliseconds on screen. Now 5G using the newer networks can shrink that to only a few milliseconds. And that is a big thing when you're dealing with newer technology like VR or augmented reality or even gaming in a way. So cloud gaming is becoming a big thing. Google stated a cloud gaming platform that can work on mobile devices or will work on mobile devices. And Microsoft is also introducing a cloud gaming platform that will work on mobile devices. These things are definitely predicated on latency. So when you're playing games, latency becomes a big thing and 5G can really address some of those latency issues that a lot of gamers and a lot of people will have as we move forward and we start using our mobile devices for more consumption of media and entertainment. Companies like AT&T, T-Mobile, those companies are really kind of in an arms race right now to see who can get the best 5G network up and running and get it out as quickly to their customers as possible. You can look at 5G as the difference between standard and high definition. Remember when you had the old standard television and everybody was getting the HD TVs? That's kind of what they're kind of insinuating the changeover is going to be like. It's going to be like moving from a standard definition or standard connection to a new fancy high definition TV or a high speed connection. So everybody's going to want to get on that 5G network. So you'll see these companies really kind of hone in on getting their 5G network set up so they can bring as many customers in as possible. Okay, right, so that's going to do it for a really quick video trying to break down what 5G is. Is it ready for mainstream yet? Probably not, but it's on its way. So be prepared for it. And when it hits, it's going to hit great. And it's actually going to be a really good thing for mobile consumption. And I can't wait for it. If you have any questions, thoughts or comments about this topic, go ahead and share those in the comment section below the video. If you have some information that I didn't share in this video, go ahead and share that in the comment section as well. The community is always looking for answers and you may be able to provide that. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. And until next time,
Peace.